all production hops, the female plants where we want to be able to produce the cones. So the, the female plant produces the cones, what is what flavors the beer and has the lupulin glands. And so for us, we want to make sure there aren't any male plants close by because what will happen then is it'll fertilize the female plants and create seeds, uh, which are not desirable for the brewers. So that creates a little bit more uh, fluff and just volume that is not necessary for the hops. Plus the genetic uh, makeup of the plant will change when it gets fertilized. So uh, to have consistent flavoring and consistent hops from year to year that are the same acid levels and um, all the interior ingredients of that hop cone, uh, to maintain consistency, it needs to have just the female uh, plant genetics and not being fertilized by another plant to hybridize that plant. In the plant selection process, when you're starting your hop yard, you'll go to a plant propagator and those plant propagators are creating clones off the plants. And uh, by clones, I mean they're trimming, taking trimmings off of other plants or using the rhizomes or the underground stems that are kind of like roots uh, underground to create new plants. So that'll have the same genetic makeup as the plant, the parent plant that it comes from. So when you take a rhizome or a cutting off of a plant, you're getting the same genetic makeup which determines the male or female. So the male or female is determined by the hop plant that it comes from on the parent plant. Uh, so when you go to a plant propagator and you're buying your, your pot plants, you're buying female clones and it's exactly what you want to have and the variety is going to be very specific on what that genetic makeup is. Uh, every once in a while we get some stress in the hop yard, whether that's drought stress, heat stress, uh, other climate factors. Um, sometimes the plants will become hermaphroditic where we'll have the female and the male parts um, very distinguishable between. So the, the male parts will look more like a, a cluster of like grapes at a very young stage and the cones are very uh, uh, identifiable, almost looking like a small pine cone. So very different and very easy to identify between the two, male and female.